take a full moon over the city lights. I'll take a dirt road past the county line. What's that up ahead? It's a neon sign. It's a neon sign. And money ain't something we come by easy. Back breaking hard work is what we'll give you. Where I come from, that's how we roll. We don't mind a little rain. Sunshine and hurricanes. And pretty girls and real good buddies. Friday nights, we were made of money. People change, but we still has changed since we used to chill. I bought a fast boat and some rock and reels. I got my first ticket after all these years. Well, this time next year, I'll be in Nashville chasing my dreams like my mama said to. One day you guys will sing a song. We don't mind a little rain. Sunshine and hurricanes And pretty girls and real good buddies Friday nights we were made of money People change but we still Sunshine and hurricanes And pretty girls And real good buddies Friday nights when we were made of money People change But we stick Yeah We're all about that country and all this stuff going on. I want to make it perfectly clear. My choice about Trump and all this stuff going on with the elections, it's never changing, okay? I don't have just a little job where I decide to talk about Trump. I have a commission for my life, okay? Wow. I'm here to share heaven's plans. God has chosen him, yes. Whether you believe it or not, he is actually right now our president. Uh, he is, okay, because he won. And a lot of you may not like me saying that. That's just too bad because guess what? Bad. That's the truth. I want to make it perfectly clear. My choice about Trump and all this stuff going on with the elections. That is one crazy fucking bitch right there. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say the F word anymore. I keep getting booted and banned and, and all that i don't know who tracked the boy 52 is but he joined my stream and uh I, i'm without further ado welcome how are you you are live oh well hopefully we can get uh tractor boy 52 back it's always way more fun when you guys participate uh we should start a petition or something to bring him back that would be great uh let's talk about it anyway one year ago today i went live as uh there was some breaking crazy news in my town uh i got a lot of views that day a lot of fun shit uh, i had a drunk night because i was confused about the way the world was going and uh that's pretty much it uh i don't know where to where to go or what to say about it but i've been doing this live thing for a year now uh i quit for a little while after my first two and then lockdown happened and I started getting drunk at home alone and that's the worst thing you could do. So I figured I'd just get drunk with all you people. So for all you late tuner and all you people who just joined, 
Uh, welcome to the show. MickMotherwell.com is where you can check out all my other stuff. Uh, I do bagpipes to banjos, which is interview with musicians and artists uh, with a buzz. Always fun. Self-awareness is my main thing. I do a little stand-up comedy. I've just uh, auditioned a couple of weeks ago with Comedy Central. Not my first time. Uh, and definitely, hopefully not my last time that I audition with Comedy Central. I've also auditioned for a couple of short films. Listen, no callbacks yet. Made some good cuts. We're going to give it a shot, man. People are... Uh, obviously think that I'm typecast to be a really dumb uh, character. So I'm enjoying that and then enjoying that, all that stuff. Uh, happy anniversary to me. Started the show uh, last January. Uh, started going live uh, about a year ago. Well, again, a year ago today. Uh, last January, I interviewed my buddy. He was visiting from China about coronavirus. And it was crazy. He was here. It was like a two hour episode. Check it out. Uh, this it, it's pretty cool in hindsight. We were talking about what was going on in China. Uh, and then like a month and a half later, the whole world was on lockdown. So it was pretty crazy. Cool stuff. Uh, I skip around, talk about it, listen to it. One year on. Uh, I don't know where to start. Um, as everybody knows, I'll say I'm a lot. I'll scratch my head a lot. I don't really uh, plan this show. I improvise a little bit, but uh, I'll start with a drink and whether I'm exploiting uh, something or not, uh, I will say let's, let's toast to uh, Ahmaud Arbery today uh, and it's not being funny, although that's kind of my shtick here, but uh, you know, to Ahmaud Arbery, God rest his soul. All right. So on with the show. Um, well, it's been a year and that's where my, Look, I understand a lot of information to gather, a lot of shit to talk about, a lot of shit to really get together and get straight, uh, especially nowadays when you can investigate like text messages and uh, internet history and shit like that. So guys, unless you have a VPN, uh, I would probably say that like, don't say anything. Anything online or on text or any Tractor Boy 52 is back and I am ready to see who it is and let's do it. Let's take the show on the on the direction that we like to take the show on. Unpredictable and crazy. Tractor Boy, what's up, my man? How you doing? I'm fantastic. How are you, man? Look, I'm how are you, sir? I'm fantastic. I hope you're doing well. How can I help you this evening? What are we here to talk about? Nothing really. Just checking things out. You got a podcast coming up about I'm events? Live right now, my friend. We are on. I thought you were here to join it and talk about some bullshit. We can do that if you'd like, or uh, what you can do is just view it. But if you want to be on, you are on. If you okay. want to be off, you let me know. I'll take you right off. We're just I just watch for a while and get 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 comfortable. All right, my man, keep chilling. Anyway, thanks very much for that guy to join. Um, we're at it, guys. This is a comedy podcast, typically, but we're, again, we're talking about some serious shit. Uh, if you watched the show from a year ago, um, and a, a couple of days from now, a year ago, I did a follow up and went nuts, and maybe I jumped the gun, maybe I didn't. But but the 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 point is, I guess the. The question I have, we, we all have problems with the justice system. I get a real problem that it takes 25 years for a guy on death row that's completely guilty to die. Do you know what I mean? Why am I fucking paying for his, it's a hundred grand a year or something like that to keep this guy in prison. Uh, that's one. But with all the shit that they can find and gather, I understand the trial takes a while. I think we have an issue uh, here that this we don't know shit what's going on with the Ahmad Arbery trial, things like that, because we jumped the gun. Um, and I use that term loosely, but, you know, the media has zero fucking uh, these these guys have no chance because we the media, the, the, the people, we went fucking crazy as soon as it happened. Um, and sure, it looked pretty black and white. No pun intended. Maybe I did intend that pun there was no black and white but someone fucking filmed it it looked pretty fucking black and white to me what happened um then again now it's time to gather blah, blah, blah. but we'd already crucified these guys 
do they deserve it? It, it looks like it. But <laughs> it's we don't know shit. We still know what we knew a year ago. And that's because they're chronic. Of course, they're going to have to keep it under wraps. Now, is that a privilege to someone that's maybe worked in the system? That's another question. Uh, I just think there's a lot of crazy shit going on there. I think right up the road from my house made it real crazy, especially at a scary time, which is in the description of the show tonight. Uh, it was a scary time for the world. And then right up the street, you know, uh, what looked like a, a black man taking a jog, getting murdered uh, happened. And that was pretty fucking scary. That being said, I am open to any and all discussions about that uh, and uh, Ahmaud Arbery and Ahmaud Arbery case and any other case of oh, shit, injustice or justice in this country today. Talk to me about it. Um, I think, well, that's, oh, there's my segue. See how I improv? There's a lot of big uh, controversy at Camden Middle School recently because a non-binary child was found unconscious in a bathroom. Um, evidently, that child was beat up and bullied, or allegedly that child was beat up and bullied and ended up unconscious because of their non-binary status, which, again, that's the truth. Go fuck yourself. Uh, should never happen in this world, let alone this country of like this is the land of the free and the home of the brave if that's not being free and brave i don't know what the fuck is so i uh, you know what i mean middle schooler being different being themselves standing up great now however if that is the truth that's shitty if it's not the truth that's we that's way shittier uh there's a lot of rumors there's a lot of bullshit i don't know any credible sources this is a comedy podcast whether it's funny or not, I'm here to ask the questions and provoke thought. And what I do hear is that these parents of this child are not the fucking coolest of parents. Uh, it, and I don't know. I don't know. If anyone's got anything on that, let me know. I don't want to speculate and say things that I shouldn't say. Uh, I don't want cops at my door because I don't know anything. But I do uh, frequent bars for happy hour on like a Friday night and things like that. And you listen. And uh, I've just heard about some open cases. And I've also heard that these parents are just not the greatest people. Now... I don't care if the parents are the greatest people and this child got beat up for being, like, again, still shitty. But if these parents are, uh, if they're less than perfect, this is me talking. This is, this is just media. This is everything. Uh, this is becoming a bigger and bigger story. But if these parents are less than perfect, then they're going to be hung out to dry. And it's going to be a win for anyone that says you shouldn't. You shouldn't force your child to be non-binary. You shouldn't force your child to, to question it or think about it. And look, look, it's a 50-50, it's a 50-50 fucking question. It's a, it's a fight. It's, it's going on forever. It's science versus nature versus religion versus sexuality versus what's right and what's fucking wrong. And that's fine. It's okay. But if these parents are less than perfect and it comes out that way, then that's a win for all the all the small-minded people, not the people on the fence, not the people with open minds and open hearts that are ready to listen and welcome and talk about it. Those people are fine. But the people that are that dumb, that's a win for. It's a win. Because if these parents are whatsoever exploiting their child or abusing their child or doing anything fucking not right in this situation, then it's a step backwards. And then questions are asked. It's just, it's fucking insane to think about, uh, in my opinion. And that's, look, I don't know shit. I don't, on my heart, I don't know shit. But I'm saying, I think people will agree with what I just said. If you are whatsoever doing anything wrong, yet you're asking for a GoFundMe, you're asking for the sympathy, now it could be a lie. Now that kid could be a liar. Because their parents are liars. I don't know. I don't fucking know. 
I'm just here to ask questions. I'd love if anyone here uh, had questions uh, or comments. That'd be great. Let's see. Oh, man. I don't fucking know how this works. This is how all this works. Um, I don't even know what I was saying today. Oh, Aaron fucking Tippin. Let's check this shit out. Aaron Tippin played uh, my hometown. Aaron Tippin, if you don't know, is a country artist who made his fame or began his fame in 1991 with a big hit. Uh, good for him. Now, I was misquoted last week because I I I thought he was a tra traitor piece of shit who exploited 9-11 and uh, wrote a song about patriotism and took profits from it. From what I hear, again, I still don't know shit, but from what I hear, Aaron Tippin actually donated all of his profits from that song to the 9-11 Relief Fund and to help with, uh, you know, uh, families, uh, lost loved ones, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So good for him. Good man. Uh, Aaron Tippin, thank you very much for proving me wrong and being cool about it. I still hate Alan Jackson because I'm pretty sure he didn't do anything that cool. And anyway, I'm still looking for this Aaron Tippin video. My opinion is, look, he might be a good guy. He might be a great guy. He might be a millionaire that came to play Kingsland. Let's talk about that real quick. Because this, well, let's play the video first. I'm going to rip the shit out of Aaron Tippin and anyone else. Look, I'll say this. I am so ready to go to a concert. It's unbelievable. I know we're all just itching to go to a football game together and hug each other or concert or an event. I can't wait. I can't fucking wait myself. Um, but you couldn't have paid me to go see this. And what's happened is so many people I've seen locally are like, he was fucking amazing. He was on fire. He was a, he was a shit. Uh, Let's watch Aaron Tippin in Kingsland, Georgia. For my, it was horrifying, in my opinion. Horrifying. Look at him. He just points. So this is his encore. Oh, so this is how he leaves the stage. Point. Well, I'll see you. Now, he's talking to 10,000 people. There's probably 400 there. Oh, and he leaves. He's wearing a jacket the whole show, by the way. He's been wearing a jacket. Turn this down. All right, so it's a pretty shitty band, or a pretty good band. All right, here he comes. Oh, the band comes back. If you've ever been to an arena show, this is like an eight, ten minute time frame. In one minute, 42 seconds, we've seen the end of his show, him leave, the band leave, and then now him come back. Here he comes with his jacket on. Look, so this should be cool, but it's only 400 people. So I'm a little, you know, that kind of hurts. All right, here he comes. Oh, no, hold on. We got to see him take the jacket off. This is how badass he is. Fuck my jacket. There you go. You hear the crowd? Oh, now he's singing his 9-11 uh, song. But again, keep watching him. He doesn't do anything cool. There's no way you could... Look, he doesn't... Somebody... Oh, he's not singing, but I can hear his voice. Here's what I did See? Oh, just pointing. Just pointing again. I bet you there's a point. Yep, that's another point. Here it comes. Oh, two point. Double pointer. Oh, now he's pointing at the American flag. Black power. That lady just called him Aaron Tippin. So he's, he's singing, but there's a track behind him singing, too. This guy's fucking... I don't... I'm not disrespecting him. I love that he's out there doing his thing at 80 years old. 
I'm pretty terrible entertainer, but whatever. I'm upset that people are like, oh man, you should have seen Aaron Tip and he was fucking amazing. You're a fucking liar. Look at him. This is his encore. This is his biggest fucking hit. Well, second, his biggest hit's coming up next. An express printing sign is louder than Aaron Tippin. Oh, and there's another point. Oh, he said, damn. Pointing. Pointing. Look at the point. He's like an angry grandpa. He's just pointing. Look. He's going to point at the American flag. He's going to make everybody else point at it. This is fucking terrible. Where's the fucking loud guitar? The fucking, yeah, America, let's do this. This guy's out of breath. Oh, and we're going to wrap it up. We're not even going to finish the whole song. He's still pointing. Does he know what direction Manhattan's in? All right, so we're going to skip around. This is his next, this is his biggest hit. It's called Kiss This. It's part of his encore. Come on. Look at him. Look at him. He's so tired. And if there's anybody that don't like that, it. He's like my drunk aunt at Thanksgiving. Look at him. If there's anybody that don't like that and kiss this, and then she plays this obscure Aaron Tippin song from 20 years ago. Look at him. Oh, there's the crowd. There it is. Oh, the press is backing them away from Aaron. Look at him. Look at them. What's the over under that? I'm not saying he did or they did. What's the over under that he got his dick sucked by a Kings and Horn? Look at him. Look at him. Look, he knows it's his last uh, it's his last minute and a half on stage. So he's got more energy than he had for the last hour. Oh, another point. Keep, keep pointing. I I just feel if you're an entertainer, you could learn a better fucking dance move than that. And that. And then the same two over and over again. Oh, he's saluting a Marine. So American. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. That is your drunk aunt at a party. Oh, Jesus. Aaron. Double A Ron here. He's done. All right. Listen to this amazing ovation. It sounds like 30 people. Mm, that's how you do it, Aaron. Praise God. Love America. Shake a hand. There you go, girl. Natural entertainer, guys and girls. Natural entertainer. Love that guy. So Aaron Tippin is amazing. Uh, I don't know if you guys checked that out or not. My problem with Aaron Tippin is all the people that told me that was an amazing concert. You couldn't even hear the fucking band. There's 400 people there, uh, and he wasn't even fucking singing very well. And he, had, it was just bad. It was just bad. You know, he had four local bands that opened up for him, and no one fucking went and seen. I guarantee we're way better than that. Speaking of local, there is a civil war brewing because that Mardi Gras festival was heard in oh this oh <laughs> I thought you were talking about my show <laughs> like yeah this totally is a flea market looking show yeah I would hate to be Aaron Tippin it was once on top of the world look he said something and I, it resonates and I think it's great. Again, I'm not hating on the man. He said, like, I watched the parade. I see all the people gathering. This is what this country needs right now. It might. And I'm going to talk about how I hate your grandma in a minute. But, uh, Jesus, where was I? Oh, yes. The, the civil war brewing in my county 
is the fact that the Mardi Gras Festival was held in Kingsland, Georgia, instead of St. Mary's, Georgia, for the first time in like 28 years. Uh, I understand that the Council of St. Mary's decided not to in case there'd be a spike in COVID. We couldn't really agree on it. We couldn't know what happened. And they're probably praying for rain because it typically fucking rains out every festival that we have in St. Mary's. However, Kingsland were like, fuck yeah. One, we're getting uh, boots. We're getting cops. We're getting parking. We're getting beer. Uh, and then two, we're getting Aaron fucking tipping. <laughs> and as you can see on the video, a lot of motherfuckers love Aaron fucking tipping. Uh, again, it was about uh, a one hundredth of our county showed up to his uh, his show. Population of Camden County. Let's see that? Oh, Camden County, Georgia. Hey, I think we can. We all see that. Yeah, that's what I do. Let's check this out. Fifty. Oh, fifty-four thousand. So, what you do is you go. 54,666 divided by 400, give or take. That, oh, Jesus Christ. So, about a 13th of our county, or less than a. Oh, Jesus, my mic just fell off. Uh, things happen, especially when I can't do math. You do is. One, three. Six, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. That being said, how fucking dare you? How dare you tell me this guy was amazing when he definitely wasn't? Um, do you think there's going to be a spike in COVID? Uh, I think that was the big reason can the St. Mary City Council said no, we're not going to do it. Uh, Jesus Christ, let me fix this mic. Hey, right, let me not fix this mic. What we're going to say is, blah, 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 blah. All right, let's get over it. Council in St. Mary's voted for no Kingsland, or no Mardi Gras. And, yeah, that's exactly right, Jason. This is good shit right there. Um, the big issue at this point uh, wasn't, I think people were upset. They didn't have their festival day, and that sucked. And uh, that hurt a lot of people down here and all that. But what's happening now is because it was such a huge, amazing hit in Kingsland that the, now, I mean, you could see it. K-Bay employees, things like that. They're all just pushing for the, hell yeah, Kingsland's got Mardi Gras. Who wants Mardi Gras in Kingsland next year? And the citizens of St. Mary's are pretty pissed about that. Uh, they're pretty pissed at council for it, but they're also pretty pissed about the citizens of Kingsland. They're like, no, man. This is my shit. This has been my shit for 28 years. COVID comes in and you're taking away our favorite festival. Uh, and yeah, St. Mary's is pretty pissed off about that. That's all I know. I'm going to turn this one down. Turn that one up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wee, 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 wee. Yeah, great. Good shit. Uh, drop my mic. Things happen. Anyway, Kings was pretty pissed off about it. That being said, I did ask the question, is there a new COVID spike? You know, within two weeks from now, all these people in Kingsland that went out partying, do we know what the fuck's going to happen? Is there going to be a COVID spike? That's the big issue. That's why St. Mary's decided to not do it. I understand that. Let me say what I got to say about COVID, and I'm going to get the fuck out of here probably. Very, very upset at this point. I'm tired of it. My grandmother was diagnosed with uh, stage, like, basically eight lung cancer. She's got six months to live, and that's fine. Look, grandmas die. They get cancer. They do their thing. They live. They're old. Like, yeah, don't worry. Don't feel sorry for me. That being said, I'm sick and tired of protecting these goddamn grandmas and grandpas. Old liberal Michael... Old liberal Mick here is letting you know that I'm sick and tired of your fucking... I don't care about your grandma or your grandpa anymore. I don't care about your dad who's fucking autoimmune. I don't care about your mom who's autoimmune. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of fucking being locked down. I'm tired of being restricted. I want to go see my grandmother. But I can't 
because we didn't follow any fucking simple rules. The mask thing was never once about you need to wear that mask and you'll be fucking safe. You need to wear that mask because we're taking away your rights. It was just one way to combat it. Do you think bug spray, using bug spray off your fucking porch is going to keep every goddamn bug away? Do you think using antibacterial soap after you wipe your ass is going to kill every single piece of bacteria that just came out of your fucking body? No, but it slows it down so we can research it and we can try to fucking combat it. You didn't follow a goddamn rule. It's your fucking fault that I can't see my grandma. So guess what? I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of protecting yours. So you win. Fuck my mask. Fuck all of it. If you're, if you have any fucking risks, if you're high risk or whatever, sign a fucking waiver if you want to go outside. But until then, let me fucking roll. Let the world keep turning. It's turning at what? Let's let's look it up. How fast does the earth turn? Air or spin. Oh, about a thousand miles per hour. Stay on or get the fuck off. That's my opinion. I'm sick and tired of it. It started to get to me personally. Why the fuck we're locked down anymore? America didn't give a shit the whole time. We don't care. We're going to keep going with we don't care. And that's fine. It's bullshit. But we don't. We're fucking Kansas City Chiefs had fucking 20,000 fans in there. Jacksonville Jaguars had 20,000 fans in the game. Meanwhile, the whole fucking rest of the world can't go to a bar. We didn't give a fuck. We don't give a shit. It's okay. Whatever. It's all fine. And I can say whatever the fuck I want and hope to God that when I die, the flags will be at half-mast because I'm stand-up individual. I can yell racist shit, homophobic shit, um, extremist shit. I can antagonize. I can incite riots. And as long as my name is Rush Limbaugh, I'm okay. The flag will be lowered to half mat. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh. I put on... Ah, it's fucking sad, isn't it? It's sad. We'll talk about that in a second. Remind me. Facebook. Um, I said... I put out a meme. Actually, I'll find it. Uh, let's just look. Rush Limbaugh meme. I bet you there's a lot of fun ones, actually, at this point. I'll show you the one I posted. Oh, this is the one I posted. And I got a lot of fucking heat. Claims to be pro-life. Dies. <laughs> I got a lot of heat for being mean and being uh, disrespectful and, and all that. This guy made a fucking living being mean and disrespectful. Uh, so he's either looking up or looking down on me proud. <laughs> or fuck him. He's a piece of shit. Remember he uh, he said when George Floyd died that, uh, you know, why I can breathe because I'm not doing anything wrong. Again, ironic. Dying just like my grandma or died. My grandma has the same lung cancer. She's not going to be able to breathe at some point. But here's Rush Limbaugh. But she's also not a racist piece of shit. Again, flags are not going to be half mass for her. Fucking hero is all I'm saying. I. <sighs> it's fucking good shit. Again, I don't celebrate anyone's death. I would never wish anyone die of fucking lung cancer or, like, you know, when they're. Like, come on. It's terrible. You don't vote for that. You don't want that on anyone. But what I will say is this piece of shit does not deserve to be honored except for his by his fans. Oh, Ryan Dunn died. Ja, Paul Walker. Uh, just think about these stupid... Sam Kennison killed himself. We didn't fucking lower the flags to half mass. Why? Because he wasn't political? Because he had a political fucking radio show? 
Sounds to me like pennies and pockets were were being padded and all that shit was happening. And that he's no fucking I look, he's an icon. But if the rock dies, who's an icon? Are the flags that have mass? Like, come on. You want to get deep with it? We can get deep with it. What if a fucking soldier every time a soldier gets killed? We don't do that. We don't fucking lower our flag. Because a soldier dies fighting for everything, fighting for us. We don't lower it. But Rush Limbaugh, who announced that he was had terminal cancer a year, uh, a year ago, we're going to lower our flag because he's a fucking hero? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm doing the same fucking thing. Do you want me to say some fucking controversial shit? I'll say it. I'll fucking say it. Jesus, that's what it takes now is just to be a dick and the country fucking honors you. How many people think fucking Trump's going to should be on Mount Rushmore? That's insanity. Let's talk about this fucking lady and then talk about my Facebook's fucking insanity. Oh, not this lady. This fucking lady right here. Oh, Jesus. All right, can we all see it? There we go. No, come on, bitch. Kind of love a fucking live and show. And all this stuff going on with the elections, it's never changing, okay? I don't have just a little job. She doesn't have just I a little job. Talk about Trump. She decides to I talk about Trump. I have a commission Trump. for my life. Goddamn right she does. God, God put her here. Plans. God has chosen him. Yes. Whether you believe it or not, he is actually right now our president. He still, is. Okay? He's because still the president. Won. And a lot of you may not God like damn, me. damn, he's still the president. Bad because guess what? That's the truth. I love you, lady. I want to make it perfectly clear. Oh, I'll keep watching. We'll keep talking. My we'll just put this on loop for the rest of the Trump fucking episode. And all this stuff going on with Look the elections Look is at this never bitch. changing. Okay? I don't have just a little job. Do you think God to told her to die or Trump? fucking or wear that wig? Look at, her. My life. Look at this guy. Okay. He's so into this. Plan. Look, this is not a satire God interview. This guy is fucking Mike. Yes. Yeah. You're goddamn Whether right, you Dorothy. Or not, you got he this. Is actually right now our president. Oh. He is. Okay. Because he Cat won. cares her name. And Check her out. Steve Schultz is his name. Because... He's a dumbass. Um, don't know much about him. All I know is problem I have with Facebook, and I'm gonna sign off on this unless oh I've just broke both my mics tonight. <laughs> I'm the funniest man alive, and I haven't said anything funny tonight. Um, problem I have with Facebook and social media is the fact that, remember, like we can blame the media and all that stuff, right? But it used to be, you know, the news was fed to us, and we had to decide. We had to watch one channel or the other, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. I appreciate the fact there's a lot of news outlets available online. Social media, it, you start, it's not about what's going on in the world anymore. It's about what's going on in your world. And until you decide to actually embrace what's going on in the world, then you're going to lose. I couldn't tell you how many family members of mine, of family members of yours that you're embarrassed of because they don't read an article. They just share something. They don't really care. They don't know the substance. Again, it's not about what's going on in the world anymore. It's about what's going on in your world as soon as you log onto the social media. As you pick what you like. You pick what you want to hear. You pick what you want to see. And that is the problem with this fucking country. Um. There's a, a pretty respectable person as a, as a local guy. He's an activist. And he just he spreads filth and fake news because he only takes sources that he sees and he wants and he likes. And it's bullshit. And I hate going against somebody that's trying to do a po spread a positive message. But you can't let anyone win. You have to be perfect in your message. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in once again. MickMotherwell.com. Catch all my shit. Please, if you want to be on the show, let me know. The guy that tried to be on the show just turned out to be an old man that didn't really know how to listen. Nice guy, just didn't really... <laughs> was really excited to have a guest. Didn't happen. Please, be a guest. PM me, DM me, all that shit. DP me. Uh, I'm into that, too. 
I'm sorry. I went with funny. Guys, mcmotherwell.com. One more time. Namad Aubrey. God rest his soul. However, let's hope the justice system fucking prevails. <clears throat> that was pretty disrespectful. I didn't mean that. Um, I just want everything. I, I, I want to know. We need to know. We need to know what's going on. We need to see what's going on. I'm going to sign off with Mr. Now, you guys have probably heard it before. And you're going to hear it again and again. And I keep telling him, give me some more videos, dude. Please give me more videos. But I'm going to sign off with Mr. Aaron Lane, Farfetch Dream. He is my Don't guy. And I appreciate Let's you guys out. very much. Take care. Until next time. I really don't care.